We have a warmer, more humid night in store, but we're not expecting any rain. This is future cast at midnight as we advance the clock until about 8 o'clock in the morning. You can see that we just have kind of a mix of clouds and fair skies out there. Off to the west, we'll watch for some showers and storms developing on the other side of the lake that will try to trickle to the east but fade out. Uh, however, some more storms will develop off to the southwest of us, and these will have some success moving in here by evening on Saturday at 1030. Futurecast shows a pretty good chunk of the area, especially around the Tri-Cities, getting in on some shower and thunderstorm activity. They're not expected to be severe. There's always an outside chance of that. And, of course, uh, we will be keeping an eye on those storms this weekend. At 3 in the morning on Sunday, you can see that the storms develop even more, and they could contain heavy rain and an outside chance of some stronger wind gusts. At uh, 3 in the morning is when the activity will peak. Once we get to about 6 o'clock, most of this will be pushing off to the east. And Sunday, for the most part, does look dry. At 4 p.m., we do have a little batch of showers getting pretty close to the area, but I indeed think that this area of rain will stay to our south. In terms of rainfall totals, this is what we're expecting. Futurecast shows the leading edge of the rain starting to move in right around 9 p.m. on your Saturday. So from 9 p.m. until about midday on Sunday, this is how much rain it drops. Generally between about a half inch and an inch across most of the area. We could see a little bit more than that in some areas, especially in sections of Midland and Gratiot County, where it's going with over 1.1 inches of rain in Elma at 1.12. Uh, so that's what Futurecast is estimating could fall. Nevertheless, uh, it doesn't matter how much rain we do get. It does look significant enough that there could be a little bit of flash flooding on Saturday morning, or rather make that Sunday morning. For tonight, 62, partly to mostly cloudy skies. On your Saturday afternoon, 83, storms will be possible after 4 p.m. And then likely as we head into the evening and overnight hours, the storms taper off on Sunday morning with a high temperature of 84 after a morning low of 68. So a pretty summer-like looking weekend in terms of temperatures. And then we cool off on Monday as a cold front makes its way through and we see a chance of storms move into the forecast again Monday into Monday night. Tuesday morning, the storms will taper off, but it will be chilly, breezy, highs only in the upper 60s. On Wednesday, we struggle to reach 70 with still a few spot showers, a little warmer, but still below average on Thursday and Friday.